friends, today I am reviewing two cleaning routines, the Clean Mama Cleaning Routine and the Motivated Moms Cleaning Routine. If you are interested in hearing more about either of those, stick around. So if we haven't met before, my name is Betsy. I have a wonderful husband and two small kids, and I have been doing the Clean Mama Cleaning Routine for close to three years now. It has been a while and I have loved it. It's been great, but recently I decided to change things up a little bit. And so I decided to try the Motivated Moms cleaning routine, but I just thought it might be helpful to make a little video for those of you who are curious. I will say upfront before I start reviewing both of these that I was not dissatisfied with the Clean Mama cleaning routine. It's worked very well for me having very young children, but I was just curious to see what else is out there. So here we go. I'm going to kind of the rundown of each cleaning routine. I'm going to go through some of the similarities and then some of the differences and kind of my conclusions as to what I like, what I don't prefer, and kind of what I'm going to do from this point forward. So the tagline for the Clean Mama cleaning routine is every day a little something. And that truly is how this cleaning routine is set up. You have daily tasks, weekly tasks, and then you have rotating tasks. Sometimes they're monthly, sometimes they're annual tasks. It just depends. Daily tasks include things like clearing your kitchen countertops or checking your floors or making the beds or throwing in a load of laundry. Those are examples of some of the daily tasks with Clean Mama. Weekly tasks would include things like Mondays is bathroom cleaning day, Tuesdays is dusting day, Wednesdays is vacuuming day. And she kind of has it split up in that way where you've got different tasks on different days and you're kind of doing a different thing on each day. It's not as much split up by room, except for the bathrooms, as much as it is split up by the types of tasks you're doing. When you're vacuuming, you're vacuuming the whole house. When you're dusting, you're dusting the whole house and you're doing that all on one day. So that's kind of how Clean Mama is set up. In terms of pricing, Clean Mama is free. The printables that she has available are completely free. With Motivated Moms, the tagline is make every day count. And the whole idea with Motivated Moms is that you have a predetermined list of chores that you do. You're able to get them done in fairly quick fashion, and then you're able to enjoy your free time. I'm pursuing a hobby, time being with your family, or just all the other life stuff that we need to do besides maintaining our homes. It is also broken up into daily tasks and then rotating tasks. With daily tasks, you've got a kind of a very similar list, although it's more detailed. So you've got things like clean and wipe down the kitchen counters, clean the kitchen sink, wipe down the bathroom sink, empty the trashes, change out your hand towels. It's a longer list than the daily tasks that you have for Clean Mama, but it's tasks that don't take a lot of time. You know, it takes me 30 seconds to change out the bathroom hand towel. So although you're dealing with a longer list of daily tasks, it's essentially accomplishing the same things that you are on the Clean Mama daily tasks. And then with Motivated Moms, you don't necessarily have weekly tasks as much as you have rotating tasks. Some of them are weekly, and then some of them are tasks that would come up not as often. So for example, well, just the other day I had a task come up that was vacuuming the coils on the back of your refrigerator. Well, <laughs> that's not going to come up every week, right? And then you'll have things that are more frequent. So things like cleaning your toilets, cleaning the bathroom mirrors. You're obviously going to be doing that more than once a year. <laughs> You're going to be doing that on a weekly basis. So that is how Motivated Moms has it divided up. She's got daily tasks and then she's got rotating tasks. Now Motivated Moms has a lot of printables as well. Motivated Moms also has an app. Now the difference is there is a cost with Motivated Moms and I'll get more into that. So it does cost a little bit, but you have lovely printables that she makes that come in all different kinds of formats. And then you have an app where you have those same lists and you can customize it however you want, which is a huge benefit. Now I will say up front, the app is not something that I have used as I have tested out the Motivated Mom system. I liked just having a physical piece of paper of the chore list and it was similar enough to kind of my routines and what worked for our family that I didn't feel the need to customize it a ton, but you may find that a really nice feature. All right, so there's an overview of both cleaning systems. Now let's go a little bit into the similarities. First, something I've already mentioned, both have daily tasks and weekly tasks or rotating tasks. They're set up in a very similar way where you have daily tasks that you're tending to every day, things that are just kind of keeping the household running, emptying the dishwasher, loading the dishwasher, throwing in a load of laundry. And then you've got weekly tasks where you're actually doing cleaning or deeper cleaning if it's stuff that you're doing more infrequently. And so they're set up in a similar fashion, even though they're different and the lists are slightly different, you're gonna find kind of a similar structure 
feature. Second similarity is I would say they are both easy to follow. Neither system was difficult for me to get into. I wasn't having trouble understanding. And when you're a busy mom like myself, I just don't have time to sit and decode a complicated cleaning system. I just need something that is very easy, very straightforward that I can just jump right into and get done very quickly. Third similarity is both have support options. So with Motivated Moms, there is a Facebook group that you can join once you have a membership for a clean mama. She has a lot of different options. She's got the Homekeeping Society. She's got a decluttering club, or maybe it's called the Clutter Club. I can't quite remember. But different options for getting involved in a smaller group at a more personal level. I will say, like I said with Motivated Moms, there is a membership. So to gain access to that Facebook group, you have to be a member and have paid the monthly fee for Motivated Moms. And same actually goes for Clean Mommy, even though her basic cleaning system is free and you can download everything you need from her website, those clubs, and like the homekeeping society and that sort of thing, those do cost money. And so bear that in mind when you're thinking about support options with both of these different cleaning systems. Okay, so now for the differences. Here are, at least for me personally, some of the big differences I found between the clean mama cleaning routine and the motivated mom's cleaning routine. Number one, most obvious one that I've mentioned, clean mama is free and motivated moms cost money. So clean mama, like I said, you can download everything you need from her website completely free. She of course has lots lots of additional products and cleaning products and things that you can purchase from her website. I have purchased the homekeeping planner, which is so beautiful and really high quality, but you don't need any of those things to use the cleaning system. So Clean Mama, you can use completely free. Motivated Moms costs money. However, the charge is minimal. It is $1.99 per month. When you look at that, two bucks a month, it's really not that much. So with that comes the ability to use the app and then access to all of the PDF, the printables that you can download and print for your own use. So really it does cost money, but it's it's fairly minimal. When you think about an entire year or you think about the cost per month, it's not too bad. However, if you are on a tight budget or you're just wanting to jump in and you don't want to hassle with getting a, a membership to something, you know, one more subscription <laughs> to something, Clean Mama does have a benefit in that way and that you can just download things, you can print them off, you can jump right in and you're not having to subscribe to anything or hassle with any of that. Another difference I found besides cost, Motivated Moms does not really have any catch-up days. A huge benefit for me with the Clean Mama cleaning routine is Fridays are always catch-up day. So you have specific tasks to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But Friday is a day where if there is something or multiple things that you haven't gotten done during the week, that is your day where nothing specific is assigned in terms of big cleaning tasks and you can catch up on the things that you missed. That's huge because I can tell you 100 percent since I started the clean mama cleaning routine there is not a single week where I hit every cleaning task on every single day and I would venture a guess that that's the way for most people that use the routine because that's life like stuff happens things come up and so having that catch-up day for me is huge I have always felt like with the clean mama cleaning routine if I fall off the wagon or if things get crazy and chaotic and I get behind it's not impossible to catch up. In fact, it's fairly easy. Yes, it takes a little more effort. Yes, there's a little more clutter around the house. Yes, things are a little dirtier. But in general, for me to jump back on, get back into the groove and start going again just is not difficult. And so having that catch up day in the Clean Mama Cleaning Routine is really great. I love how the chore lists are set up in the Motivated Moms Cleaning System. And most of the chores I find are, they're things I need to do, things I want to do, things that really do help to keep our house looking tidy and neat. But if I miss one or two or three of them on a day, wh where do I where do I catch up? And things can stack up very quickly. And for someone like me, who likes things simple and fast and quick and not complicated, that can get very overwhelming very quickly. I'm sure if there's people that are more experienced doing the Motivated Moms cleaning system, they would tell you how they manage those times when they get behind because everybody does. But that is one thing that was not preferable for me was not having that cushion time because just in the season of life I'm in, I just need it. One other difference is that with Motivated Moms, the printables, the PDF download printables are date specific. So it starts on January 1 of that year and goes to December 31st of that year. And so everything is set up bearing when you have a weekend, you know, what, what chores you're doing on what day. If it's a Saturday, you know, things might be a little lighter or a Sunday. Even things like setting your clock back or setting it forward for daylight savings, that's listed on there. That 
is something that may be very beneficial to you. In some respects, I like that it's that specific, but the one benefit with Clean Mama is that there's no specific dates for anything. You can jump in wherever. If it's May or if it's November or if it's February and you're like, man, I gotta get my house under control. I gotta do something. Clean Mama is one where you can just pull it out, you can just start doing it. I'm not saying you can't do that with motivated moms, you can, and you can just jump in on that day of that year. It's hard to describe, but I felt like it tied me down a little bit in terms of being able to have some flexibility. So again, this may be a benefit or this may be a downside depending on where you're coming from. But I like that Clean Mama has no dates. You just jump in wherever and you get stuff done. I will say a brief side note on that. That's not entirely true that Clean Mama doesn't have any dates. The rotating tasks are specific to the months of the year. So January, she has a list of rotating tasks. February, she has a list of rotating tasks. March, April, May. So that's one area where it is date specific or time of the year specific with Clean Mama. But in terms of the daily and weekly rhythms of of the tasks that she has you doing, those are not date specific at all. Last difference, and this is probably one of the biggest ones I noticed, is just the style. Clean Mama is very much kind of the idea that if you have the vacuum in your hands, just vacuum. Vacuum the whole house, get it done. Don't vacuum the living room and the dining room on this day, and then the bedrooms on that day, and then the stairs on that day. Clean Mama is just like, if you've got the vacuum in your hands, just go for it and vacuum the whole house. Motivated Moms is more segmented. She may have you one day vacuuming the bedrooms, and then another day you're vacuuming the living room and the family room, and then another day, you know, that type of thing, or you're cleaning portions of the bathroom. So one day you're cleaning the toilets, another day you're cleaning the bathroom mirrors, and then daily she has you wiping down the vanity and the bathroom sink. So. It never has felt so far for me like I can just clean the whole bathroom in one day. And Clean Mama has it, uh, like I mentioned, Mondays are bathroom cleaning day. And so on Mondays, you clean the whole bathroom. So you walk out of the bathroom on Monday with a clean bathroom. You've cleaned it from top to bottom. Pros of that, the bathroom is clean. You know that Mondays you get it done, it's clean, and then the next Monday you're gonna go in there and clean the whole bathroom and get it done. Cons with that are if you have very small segments of time or if you just get overwhelmed with the idea of cleaning an entire room in one fell swoop or vacuuming your whole house or dusting your whole house in one day. If that's overwhelming to you, there's a benefit with motivated moms in that she kind of segments things. If you're having a day where you just don't have a lot of time or you have a day where you're just having trouble getting going, you're not feeling super motivated, to know that you only have to do a small portion of that chore can be really nice. Okay, I don't have to clean the whole bathroom. All I have to do is wipe down the mirrors. That is really nice. It kind of depends on where you're at, if that's where your preference is, or if you're a person that's like, man, if I'm gonna go in the bathroom and clean, like, I'm gonna go in the bathroom and clean. I'm gonna do the whole thing. It doesn't make sense for me to go in there for just five minutes and do one thing. Again, it entirely depends on your preference. It also, in my opinion, depends on the size of your home. If you live in a very small home, or if you live in a large home, or you know somewhere in between, you may prefer to have things divvied up. If you have a home that is large, main floor, you have a second floor, you have stairs, you may like that with the Motivated Moms Cleaning Routine, vacuuming is not all in one day. Or if you live in a smaller home, you may like that vacuuming is all in one day. I like that. I have mentioned this, I think in a previous video, but I just love that with Clean Mama, when I pull out the vacuum, I just vacuum the whole house. It doesn't make sense for me to just vacuum our living room. Our living room is small. And so if I'm pulling out the vacuum, if I'm going to the trouble to do that, I'm vacuuming the whole house. So again, size of home may have a bearing on that for you as well. So my conclusions after all of that, I will probably continue with Motivated Moms through the end of the year. It's November right now. And so I will probably give it another couple of months. I am enjoying it. She also in some of her printables includes a Bible reading plan. If you are someone that reads the Bible in the morning, that is super helpful. But if you're someone that doesn't read the Bible and that's not part of your routine, she has lists that don't include that at all. And you can just go straight with the, the daily chores and the rotating chores and go that route. I really do appreciate that about her system. However, my suspicion is I will go back to the Clean Mama Cleaning Routine at the beginning of this next year. For me, it is like a comfortable old shoe that fits. It just seems to fit me so well. But you may be watching this and feeling like, wow, the Motivated Mom system is everything I need and that's what I've been looking for. And that's great. So lastly, 
everybody is different. So size of your home might make a difference. Budget might make a difference. And the biggest one, I feel like personality makes a difference. How is your personality wired? How do you function best in your home? And what is the best way for you to get things done? And that's gonna be a different answer for everybody. But I hope this has given you some good info on the Clean Mama cleaning routine and the Motivated Moms cleaning routine, and maybe can give you some clarity moving forward on what you would like to do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.